Let's start learning. Hello, everyone. When we multiply larger numbers, we can use regrouping to help us solve. But there's another way. It's called the lattice method. The lattice method of multiplying breaks down the factors into place values. It's really easy to understand if we see a couple of examples. Here's the steps involved. One, we'll look at our multiplication sentence. We'll notice the place values of the factors. We'll set up a lattice and draw diagonal lines. Then we multiply. We add our diagonals, bring our numbers down, and then put the numbers in order up in the answer. Let's give it a try. Here's a sample multiplication sentence. 25 times 4 equals what? First, let's draw our lattice. We'll have one row and two columns. Next, we'll divide the boxes in our lattice in half using diagonal lines, like this. Now, let's plug in our numbers. 25 along the top or on the right. Notice that each box has two parts. The upper part is for the tens place when we multiply. The bottom part is for the ones place. Let's multiply. 4 times 2 equals 8. That's 0 tens and 8 ones. 5 times 4 equals 20. That's 2 tens and 0 ones. Now we'll add on the diagonals starting on the right. 0 equals 0. Next diagonal, 8 plus 2 equals 10. Last one, 0 equals 0. We look at our sums. 0 is a one-digit number, so we can drop that right below. But 10 is a two-digit number. We're going to have to regroup. Bring down our 0, regroup our 1. 0 in the hundreds column becomes 1. Now we can bring down our 0 in the tens and our 1 in the hundreds. We get the numerals 1, 0, 0, or 100. We've solved our multiplication sentence. 25 times 4 equals 100. You did really well with that. Whoa! Let's try another. How about 34 times 41 equals what? Set up our lattice, draw our diagonals, plug in our numbers. Multiply the top number on the right with the numbers above. 3 times 4 equals 12. 4 times 4 equals 16. Now, multiply the bottom number on the right with the same numbers on top. 3 times 1 equals 3. Remember, that's 0 tens and 3 ones. 4 times 1 equals 4. Let's add diagonally, starting on the right. 4. 3 plus 0 plus 6 equals 9. 0 plus 2 plus 1 equals 3. 1. We have all single-digit numbers, so we can bring those right down. 4, 9, 3, 1. Put the numbers in the answer space. Place a comma before the last three digits. Our answer is 1,394. 34 times 41 equals 1,394. One last example. Ooh. What is 349 times 67? Let's follow our steps. Set up our lattice. This time we'll have two rows and three columns. Draw our diagonals. Copy the factors. Multiply. 6 times 3 equals 18. 6 times 4 equals 24. 6 times 9 equals 54. Next line. 7 times 3 equals 21. 7 times 4 equals 28. 7 times 9 equals 63. Add our diagonals. 3, 8, plus 6, plus 4. I'm going to make tens to make this easier. 6 plus 4, that's 10, plus 8 is 18. 1 plus 2 plus 4 plus 5. Make tens again. 5 plus 4 plus 1 equals 10. 10 plus 2 equals 12. 2 plus 8 plus 2. Making another 10. 8 plus 2 equals 10. 10 plus 2 equals 12. 
and one. Ready to bring down the sums? Three. Bam. Eighteen is a two-digit number, so we need to regroup. Regroup the one. Twelve becomes thirteen. Bring down the eight. Thirteen is a two-digit number. Regroup the one. Twelve becomes thirteen. Bring down the three. Same as above. Thirteen. Three. Regroup. One becomes two. And finally, two. We have the numbers from left to right. Two, three, three, eight, three. Put them in the answer in that order. Add a comma to the left of the hundreds place. We've got our answer. 23,383. 349 times 67 equals 23,383. That was truly awesome. Let's review. Now, let's review what we've learned. To use the lattice method to solve multiplication sentences, we first look at our number sentence. See how many places in each number. Draw our lattice. Draw our diagonals. Plug in our numbers. Multiply the top row. Multiply each following row. Total the diagonals. Place our numbers in the answer space. Add commas if we need to. There's our product using the lattice method. Nice work, everyone. Parents, teachers, and homework helpers, please be sure to subscribe and turn on those notifications. A like will really help the channel, so please give us a thumbs up. Thank you so much for being here today. I look forward to seeing you again. Take care, and remember, it never hurts to be nice.